All right, so one of the ways that you want to um, deal with hand shyness, uh, actually, really, the, the only way that you should really be trying to train a dog out of hand shyness is through reconditioning. Um, it's, it's really just getting them exposure methodically, gradually, and safely, um, and, and going slow enough so you don't have to correct because they're already freaked out, right? Then, um, so you got to pace it properly and you got to be safe. Now, Willie here was a neglect case. He was seized by some fucking assholes. He's got cigarette burns on him. So he was abused. The real, I mean, I've seen the uh, files on him. Like, he's a real abuse case from, you know, a rescue took him in. But, um, you know, he's he had it tough. And he's got definite hand shyness. So we've been working on that from the beginning. And he's, he's in a real good place with it. Now, well, with me, I mean... And he's going to continue to, to, to build and get past it <laughs> with other people. Um, but I'll show you one of the, if you do have a dog, you know, you, you say you get a dog from a shelter or something, the dog has hand shyness. A way to get them over it early is actually to, you don't have to go out and buy one of those stupid, like, fake hands. They're, they're really expensive. Um, I like early on just getting them used to having something in their face. This is what's called a flirt pull. You can find it on Amazon now. It's for prey build, uh, building prey driving puppies. Okay, uh, you know, like Malinois, police dogs, and stuff like that. You're working on prey drive. Uh, so with puppies, you want to get them really charged up early. It's something you actually want to encourage. And this, because it moves around, resembles prey. So um, it's one of the things that you <laughs> that you use for protection work, protection sports. But I, I, I actually like doing this to get them past hand shyness in the early stage because uh, <laughs> because it's not a hand, but it's something in their face. And, you know, in the early on, he was really freaked out. So the safe way to do it, made a mistake. You know, he's just biting the flirt pole, not the end of the world. But really what I'm trying to do is turn it into a game, turn it into something fun for him. All this shit, all of a sudden, it's, it's oh, this is cool, you know. So, let me show you, it's just a little game, you know, this is, it doesn't have to be technically perfect, okay? There is a way to do prey drive building with dogs, but you kind of tease them with it. That's it. So get them interested in it first, get it up close, and move it. <laughs> so get them interested in it first, tease them. Oh, ooh. move it around a little bit. Okay, so now he likes it. It's a game, right? Now I'm going to get it right up in his face. Right up in his grill piece. Whoop. Ooh. Ooh. Now, remember, this is a dog that was incredibly timid and scared, okay? This isn't like, so him kind of nipping at the thing a little bit. This is him moving forward. It's a seeking kind of drive. It's a positive thing for him. His tail's, he's having a good time. It's not aggression. You know, I'm still petting him. Let's go back. Good boy, good boy. Okay? So I'm right in his face. It's kind of annoying him a little bit now, but that's okay because before it was like this with everything right in his face. So now we made a game out of it. All right, so I, I don't think, I don't know any tra other trainers that do this for hand shyness. You know, it's just something I, I kind of tripped across. I think it can be in the early stages pretty helpful. There's a lot of other things you can do with it. And you got to work hard at it. Um, and big part is just building a relationship with the dog. Teach him to trust you. By the way, doesn't mean with dogs like this, what ends up happening is they end up getting really aggressive because they're not corrected for other shit. Like if if a dog's behaving aggressively, you got to correct it. All right, they you walk. They him. He came to me because his foster he had a bad aggression episode towards someone in the street. I lunged, he flipped out, 
you know, Foster didn't know what to do. Um, and I don't know if he was thinking, oh, you know, felt bad for him or whatever, but the dog's doing something dangerous. You correct it, all right? But, um, you know, trust building, it's it's multifaceted, and it doesn't mean not correcting the dog. I mean, that's that's dishonest. It's not what the relationship's going to be like. Um, but you got to build a relationship, so that's a huge part of it. But this is a nice little drill to do. By the way, when you pet a dog, you know, let them sniff you first, then come up along the sides. Massage them. Petting a dog, you should always mimic the mother's, uh, the mother's tongue. And it should be naturally soothing to them. Right along the temples. Good boy. Come over their head. They're going to get flinchy, even a normal dog. Okay, it's, it's a little bit condescending too, right? So, you know, a lot of this stuff is turning hand movement into a game. And you can go from that. Okay, don't do that shit right away. But now I'm getting him really used to my hands over his head. And it's a positive experience. This is, again, this is not really corrective in nature. It's, it's reconditioning. Uh, so it's a good way to get him started. Fills your confidence a little bit too. By the way, prey driving a dog is a healthy thing. It's a good thing. It's something I, I, I want in a dog. Alright, game's over. That's it. It's a good boy. And, and you know, like giving him little taps in the butt like that when you're playing, it's, uh, if you if you got a relationship with a dog, it, that's cool, you know what I mean? Um, you ever do it maliciously, it's fucking, you know, it's ridiculous. But it's, you know, we're, we're wrestling, we're playing. Um, and for a dog like this, it's that once you are really good buddies like we are, that kind of thing can be good for them. Ooh, yeah, we do, we do, we do. Right? Reconditioning. We're making them understand humans and play with humans differently now. Good boy. I love this dog. Really, really love him. Been through too much, right, buddy?